A special application for the technology is retrofitting old plants. Okay? Let's just take a look at, I mean, you know, we have been uh, building as a society or as a civilization wastewater treatment plants for 100 years, particularly a lot in the, uh, after the 50s. And these treatment plants, uh, you know, have uh, large open basins and they typically also smell. And while they used to be outside the cities, urbanization have uh, caught up with them. And today, many of them are surrounded by uh, residential commercial areas. And you know, people move in the area, and after a couple of years, they start to complain, you know, what does this wastewater treatment plant do here? And um, the technology is eminently uh, suitable to change these old treatment plants, intensify them, bring in a whole new ecology, the intensity of, uh, of a more complex ecosystem, and reap the benefits, both operational as well as aesthetic. So again, typical old treatment plants look like this. Let's take a look at a few other ones. They tend to foam also. And the foam, you know, comes special uh, smelly effects and all that. Well, the example I'm going to show you is a project we are uh, uh, working on currently, which is um, an 80,000 cubic meter day uh, treatment plant that was built 50 years ago. It has uh, reached its capacity more um, capacity is needed, better treatment uh, uh, characteristics are required. And so what we're doing now is uh, we are transforming these open uh, basins, these three trains, as they say, into uh, uh, organic uh, uh, technology. So what it means is that on the next slide, you see the, how this treatment plant was originally built. You see in each train, actually there are two sections, two sub-trains, as you see, and the water flows in a labyrinth matter. That's how this particular plant was designed 50 years ago. On the section, you can see these, uh, this is the, uh, these are the basins, open basins again. And what we do is that we bring in both the artificial media and the natural uh, environment, so we, uh, we put in the, the, um, the plant racks as well uh, with the plants and the artificial biomodules uh, into the reactors. So once you pack in all the real estate, obviously, you know, then, then you also, in addition to the creating the habitat, you also influence the process. That means, you know, how you design the, um, the aeration, how you design the flow of the, uh, of the water within the, uh, inside the media. I'll show you a few uh, slides on that. But once we are done, uh, you have this uh, large garden uh, inside the greenhouse. Interestingly, we find that uh, increasingly more and more clients or more um, municipalities are also asking us to build an educational annex because it's a unique opportunity to study and to teach about complex ecologies. And uh, such uh, an annex will be built in, in this particular project as well. With retrofits, several changes can be achieved. Uh, you can either or increase capacity. Like another recent project that we started to work on, there's a treatment plant in China with 60,000 cubic meter capacity. Now, if we intensify that uh, treatment plant, we can increase the capacity without building any additional concrete basins. We can increase the capacity to 90,000 cubic meters, so it's a 50% increase, while we are reducing the effluent levels. There are new regulations in China not now to reduce the previously uh, acceptable discharge levels to lower levels. Or you can maintain the current capacity and dramatically reduce the, the discharge levels, depending on what the, the, the various tasks are. Once you do um, approach the retrofit of a treatment plant like this, all kinds of uh, uh, opportunities arise. What you see here is a, is a design, a very recent design uh, in the city of Shenzhen, where this entire area 
was uh, occupied by a wastewater treatment plant. And because of the, uh, because of the footprint, the physical footprint advantages that we have, in the retrofit, we only need to utilize about 20% of the space. And uh, what the city is planning is to uh, utilize that space, 20%, for the wastewater treatment plant, but convert the rest of the space into an urban park. Uh, 